Thank, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, thank you, Director, and all your staff. Appreciate all, all your efforts there. Uh, just going back to that contract again, I just want to be specifically clear in my mind. Uh, Director, did you authorize anyone in the governor's legal office to use your signature on March 18 designation letters to the hotels, please? The, you know, uh, at the time, usually when I I have my, my electronic signature, it is, uh, they call me. And so when they call me, they will ask, you know, what, what information needs to be released. And so when they did that, uh, for that, the one they were talking about was the letters for the congregate shelter, which is the letter that says the use of the properties, right, for the isolation and quarantine. At the time I got the call, I don't recall the call. However, um, <laughs> uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, it was a time where I don't recall the call. And oh, my the gosh. That I want to share. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I, I thank you, Director. Thank you to your staff. Wow. Thank you, Madam Chair. Wow. Thank you. Uh, any other colleagues have a question? Just raise your hand. Uh, Senator Munya. Okay, just, just a quick question for the director. Um, during the, all the passengers coming in during the 14 day quarantine, are they required to pay for their own hotel and meals? That's a good question. If you're a resident, you're not required. If you are uh, not a resident, then the airline industry is required to, re to do that or the passenger. So the airline can um, have the passengers pay for their own hotels and meals? Yes. Okay. And so even if they're not a resident here, they still have to go through the 14-day quarantine? Absolutely. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Unless okay. they have a proof of the fact that they have been tested 72 hours prior to arriving on Guam, and we see the wherever they're at while they're in Guam. Okay? Okay. 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 So that was my final question, and I guess I just want to make a, a final comment to, to wish all the moms at Department of Public Health and Social Services a happy Mother's Day since we're just a couple days away. So Aww. happy Mother's Aww. Day to you, um, that was nice. Director DeNorsi, and, and your entire staff there celebrating. Oh, good for you. So I really appreciate the call, and we are very um, open and willing to answer all, all your questions. And thank you for your Except support. that one question. And hope <laughs> you can assist us as we move forward. And, uh, you know, our, our fight and our, our quest to eliminate this virus. Thank you. Thank you again. Uh, um, uh, oh, Senator Moylan, did you have a question? No. Uh, any other questions? All right. Is, Talina, uh, is Senator Tolina there? Is she still on the call? I don't see her right now. Okay. Um, if anybody would like to know, we're responding to her letter, so um, we're just getting some information before we respond. So if you can just read it. That message to her. We'll get the letter out to her with the response. Okay. All right. Thanks. And again, I want to thank uh, all of you at. Public